How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we have the special worldwide campaign Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash Part 1. That's right, this world uh this Ultimate Clash has been split into two parts. I'm assuming this is to kind of help global catch up on the currency and the stones that are being lost. Um from from the uh, ultimate clash being kind of pushed forward to make sure we're aligned with the sync. So we actually have more stones and more currency available for clearing this. So in this video, we're going to show you how to clear it. Um, no special categories. We're just running literally the same categories we ran last time with some slight adjustments. Um, and we're just trying to take on the event completely blind. I haven't run a single event on this. I have no idea what to expect. So let's go ahead. Let's jump on in with our team builds. Remember the key a lot of the times to the key to uh, ultimate clash is always paying attention to what the enemy units can do, right? So for example, looking at garlic jr here, all right, so he can't be stunned, but he can be attacked defense lowered and sealed. Oh, I mean, as always, when we start this, right, well, well, I mean, we have a few categories we're going to run, but, like, it's not specific to the character. Like, we, like I said, I just kind of wanted to test this event out. So, we're just going to start off with our Team Bardock, right? Um, so, we're going to put our Team Bardock squad here. We have stunners, we have sealers, we have attack lowers. So, we can kind of take advantage of everything for the first stage here against Garlic Jr., All right, nice. So let's let um, let's let the LR Bardock attack first, um, so that way they can buff everybody else. Grab that, and we'll send off Vasha. All right, <laughs> LR Team Bardock finish it up. So stage one done. LR uh, Team Bardock is the way to go so there we go we got some good rewards there all right let's go ahead and take on dr wheelo dart where you at this is your boy let's go ahead um i guess we'll just use the ginyu force then for this one so we'll run the ginyu force again paying attention to what he can do same thing can't be stunned but can be sealed attack lower and all that other good stuff Ooh, very nice. So, same thing as the uh, other one. Let's let the LR Ginyu attack first because um, they can, you know, they'll buff the rest of the allies by getting attacked first. Perfect. Oop. Gonna hit the uh, attack here. Ooh, we got sealed, so we don't end up not getting the buff. But I guess it's a good thing that we put him here um, over anyone else. So, I guess we're gonna have to move it a little bit slow here with Ginyu. Oh, never mind. Forget what I said about slow. Literally an attack and two normals is what it took. All right, so, I mean, that's kind of what we expected with the first couple of stages. That's usually how it is. One shot and then they're done. Um, no more than one turn, usually. All right, so Goku Piccolo are the first fight. Um, so let's run the Metal Cooler, right? We always want to use our free-to-play teams first. So let's use our Metal Cooler team um, to kind of help us get through this. All right, so with that in mind, we let's let's see how we do here. Okay, we definitely don't want to put them here. Alright, let's grab that. Right, yeah, I don't want him in front of any attacks. That could be potentially dangerous, so... I don't like that we didn't get any of our... Okay, well, at least it's double digits on the normal. Oh, that super has me worried. Super tend to do more damage on Ultimate Clash, but man, I do love Goku Piccolo's animations. I don't even care that he did that much to us. I just love the fact that we got to see that. These guys are such a cool unit to watch, and they're one of the units I'm so ashamed that I, you know, I didn't pull them, <clears throat> I think, till the seventh anniversary, actually, is when I pulled my first copy of them, so, I mean, 
I, 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 it is upsetting because I do really like them. And by, you know, by that point, they were basically unusable. Okay, so as much as I would love to stick the LR Metal Cooler for the support in front, I cannot risk having them in uh, slot 1, especially if they're going to super again. Okay, so maybe we could have put them there. That's fine. There we go, and then we get the additional super with the STR, which should take down this fight. Perfect. Okay, so phase, phase 1 done. Alrighty, so look at that. 3,000 more stones. We take that. Alrighty, so up first we have Turles. Um, Yeah, you know what? Let's take down Turles. So, no stunning, no attack uh, reduction, but he can be sealed. So, what do we want to use to take him down? That is a good question. Go Majin. I know that might be <clears throat> a bit too rough here. Let's see. We, I mean, we got a few teams here we can use. Uh, I don't want to use my more powerful team, so that's the only thing. All right, let's. Yeah, okay. Let's let's go with um. Oh, okay, I know what to go with. Uh, he's STR, right? Okay, let's go with GT Bosses. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's more like it. There we go. Okay, so this will be much more like it. Ooh, and we get the perfect rotation turn one. Oh, we love that. We take that. Look at that. Okay. Perfect. Oh, he's gonna e he's gonna hit us with that super, but yeah, LR Omega Shenron does what LR Omega Shenron does. It's a shame we're probably not gonna need the revive at all. Oh, jeez, look at that, and we get the seal. Love it. Yeah, Omega Shenron's probably just gonna take him down. I can't wait to pick up another copy of this guy with coins. I feel like he could see a resurgence in use because, like, his kit overall is enough to kind of carry him through the ninth, uh, ninth anniversary meta. He just doesn't really have the team to hold on to right now um, because he kind of wants to be around full GT bosses. All right, here we go. All right, so extreme tech for slug. Um, what do we want to run here? Um, okay, let's see here. All right, let's go with Terrifying Conquerors, I guess. All right, so we'll put Turles. Okay, and then we'll put... Hmm, do we run him? Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, Dr. Wheelow, Bojack, and then, there we go, perfect. That's the team here, because uh, I have another Wicked Bloodline set up, so we'll, we'll run Terrifying Carcass for this one. All right, so awful, awful setup here for turn one, but we'll make it work. <sighs> okay, maybe this was a bad team for this one. There's one. Oh, okay. Never mind. I lied. We're gonna proc that ah come on we really needed that additional super oh okay that wasn't too bad 
The EZA AGL Turles kind of worries me, right? He was one of the first post seventh anniversary meta uh, EZA, so oh, okay, All right, he's fine. Okay, so that worked. Perfect. All right, and then now we get to move on to the boss. There we go. Perfect. Oh, tree. Was that it? There's only two stages? Well, I guess, I mean, the totality of bosses kind of runs the same. Now I'm wishing we saved the Terrifying Conquerors, because that would have been a good one. All right. Well, I mean, we got a crap ton of teams. If that's just it, if it ends with him, really? Okay. I expected this to be more. All right. Well, let's have some fun. Let's run Super. For bosses. Alright, so let's put his AGL. Alright, so let's run what is he? Worldwide Chaos, Fuse Fires. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's do that. So we got two super boss leads here. There we go. All right, and now let's jump on in. I'm assuming Triku's the final boss here. I'd be really upset if I just wasted this. All right, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so, I mean, we're gonna let Rose do his little thing here, but, I mean, we know what's about to happen. Okay, Rose, slow down. Never mind. Rose went ahead and finished it. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. Alright, so level 2 is clear. I, I thought... I swear I saw missions. There's a level 3, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay, there is a level 3. I was about to say, there's no way it's done with just that. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, now let's have some fun. So, now I'm actually upset that we used our Super Ross, but is what it is. All right, so let's see. For cooler, right? What is he? Uh, stunned reduction. Okay, so there's some ceiling in there. So let's go Android Cell Saga for this one. Or actually, is there one that's AGL? No, none of these are AGL. Okay, so. All right, let's do this. Perfect. All right, so. We'll do this setup. Android Cell Saga against the cooler. Oh, okay, so this is how we're gonna play. <laughs> okay. Um. There we go. Okay, nice, good turn for uh, first turn for uh, Vegeta there. Wow. All right, and there goes that seal. So that's that's kind of why I wanted to use this team because I knew this team had a sealer with, through Vegeta. And the Super Vegeta, for that matter. The, uh, the Int one here. Nice. We get the additional... Yes, we do. There we go. And we get an normal. Alright, not a whole lot there, but enough. Now for the fun part. So let's chuck him in front. Let's hit that. And then we'll send off the Goku and Gohan. Now, since Vegeta got hit first, there we go. 
Perfect. Nice. Got that final flash. Love it. All right. So next stage. So not too bad so far. I right, getting all those sweet missions. All right. So metal cooler. Hang on. Let's take a look at this. So we got immunity beating stun. Attack defense reduction. Reduces damage. All right. So ceiling again. All right. So for this one, let's go with uh, let's go with our Majin Buu Saga team. And let's do the super class variant for this one. Okay, so we're going to run this setup here. High school Gohan of him. Um, we'll have Tech Ultimate Gohan. We'll have this guy. And this guy. Yeah, perfect. All right. Okay, not a bad start. All right. Um, yeah, I probably only want him getting hit by one thing, though. So we'll probably just do that. Ooh, ah, I hope he can't. I hope he can't seal us. No, I mean he can attack and defense lower, but I mean I'll take that over being sealed because it because at least this way we can still build the defense. There we go. There we go. We get a crit. We get an extra. Nope, just a normal. There it is. Okay, so we still managed to get quite a few supers out of him. Now, this one's going to be the trick, right? Because we want to keep him alive. So that's why I only put him in the middle, because there was only one attack. Alright, not bad. But we already got hit with the super um, on Tech Ultimate Gohan, so I don't think anybody's going to get supered again here. Alright, nice. He is able to tank. Oh, he can super twice. What? And why is, does he cancel dodge? Why is Hercule not dodging? Oh my. I did not anticipate that. Okay, let's do this number. Put them in front. Let's do that. And boom. Okay, this is actually a solid turn, all things considered. There we go. There we go, there's one super, and we're going to get the additional, uh, if we get a crit at any point, this is game over for him. There, oh, barely. I just had to open my mouth. That That's why they did that. Alright, there we go. So Majin Buu Saga takes down the cooler. Alright, excellent. And then, what's next? Okay, so Tech Fusion 13... Same thing as all the others. So pretty much all of them can't be stunned, but they can be uh, sealed. So again, same as before, uh, let's do our Extreme Majin Buu Saga team. So we'll put him. All right, let's do Majin Power or Artificial Life Forms. Power Absorption or Majin Power. Okay, so we are going to have to run him. There we go. All right. Oh, actually, what's his? Oh. Is 152? Oh, yeah. Okay, they're the same. Alright, let's go ahead and let's jump on it. Ooh. Good, good, good turn. Alright, so let's do that number. Perfect. Alright, Int Boo is going to be kind of useful for this one because of his type advantage. There we go. We get an additional super. Yes.
Oh, there goes the super. Perfect on uh, Int Boo, who's not going to get touched by this. Oh, wait, what? How did that still do 100k to Boo? How hard does this guy hit? That's crazy. Alright, nice. We get the dodge. Nice. And we get the additional super. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's grab this. Um, let's take that. So we can keep the support up, and then we'll just send off Boo and Bobby. Yo, all right, nice. So fat boo, tech boo, tanking it like a champ. Nice. And again on the boo. There we go. All right, so Majin Boo Saga Extreme ends up taking down the Fusion 13. So all that's left now is the final boss. So who's above Triku? That's what I want to know. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, so wait, go back. All right, no stunning, no attack defense. Alone. Okay, good to know. All right, so what extreme team do we have here? All right, so let's start with Wicked Bloodline. Let's start with that. Uh... Oh, okay, maybe we don't have enough. Okay, I think we mixed some units up. That's fine. Okay, well, let's have fun. Let's start with heroes. Let's do heroes. Let's do super class. So let's start there. All right, so let's do... All right, this is our setup here. This should work pretty decently. Ooh, okay, we actually have the perfect turn here. Um, and I feel like they're going to super us slot one, so I'm actually going to put this guy here. And maybe we have a chance to counter it. Yep, there it is. Can we counter? No, we didn't proc the counter. That is a shame. Watch them stun here, too. No, okay, that's fine. You know, I'll still take this, uh, because, you know, we, we do have type advantage. We did get the double super, so you know what? It's fine that we took that little bit of damage, because we can make up for it here. Okay, and now if we're lucky, a GL Vegeta will just one-shot him. Nice. And we get the additional super. All right, there we go. Okay, so not quite done with him, um, which means we will be going into the next rotation because I already know Limit Breaker Goku isn't going to finish this. Yep, there you go. Oh, wow, they can super twice, too, just like the Metal Cooler. All right, so let's see. Let's do that. Um, uh, let's do that. And... Perfect. Alright, this works out. Right, because Gohan can protect us slot one. There we go. And Vegeta gonna go ahead and wrap it up with this final attack here. And there we have it. All right. So there is what I believe. I think level three is the last one, right? So there is how to beat all of the stages for the new Ultimate Clash for the worldwide campaign. It is a lot. Um, 
but it doesn't seem as difficult as previous campaigns. Again, we re literally just ran in here with the team we had set up prior during the last Ultimate Clash, and it ended up still managing to work out with us. So, honestly, you know, if you're struggling with it, you know, let us know what stage you're struggling with. Maybe we can help you in the comments or help you out on Discord. So, you know, do let us know. But otherwise, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let us know, all right, which boss gave you the most trouble for this special worldwide virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. And, you know, uh, let us know what teams you use to clear, like, the final battles against Triku or against these guys. We'd love to hear uh, which ones you guys use. So, guys, uh, that's it for the video. If nothing else, thanks for watching, and aloha.